Coming up next on the Holistic Half, probiotics. What are they, where are they, and why are they so important to your overall health? Stay tuned. for joining us on this edition of The Holistic Half. Joining me in studio is Karen Miller-Yost, and Karen's from Santa Rosa, California, and she runs the Cleansing Ministries Rejuvenation Spa. And I've been going to her once a week for the last five weeks now. And the Rejuvenation Spa is almost like a detox haven. It has everything from infrared sauna to detox foot baths to colemas, and probiotics. She is a wonderful master of creating fabulous probiotics for your system. So Karen, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. And if you could just describe, I know <clears throat> before I moved to California, I had absolutely no idea what probiotics were. And I would go looking in the store and I was like, what? I don't know. I knew I needed them for digestion because my girlfriend was like, you need to try probiotics but was absolutely clueless. So if you can tell us kind of what introduced you to them and the concept of why they're important for our system. Well, about 20 years ago, I moved to Oregon. Mm -hmm. And I moved up on a mountain, and I didn't realize that I was drinking arsenic liver fluke water. Mm -hmm. And, of course, my whole family was. And after... A period of seven to ten years our systems were like shutting down and we were getting sick all the time and we were on antibiotics all the time and our colons were getting all stopped up and we were just getting in worse and worse health antibiotics weren't helping at all and it just every time we got sick we we went into like pneumonia and we all had to go on antibiotics wow. over and over and over and um, a friend of mine um, told me about Bernard Jensen's book, mm -hmm. Better Health Through Better Bowel Management. And I started doing colemas, and in it he talked about my probiotics. Mm -hmm. And I, we got some goats, and we started milking goats and making goat milk kefir. And our family started turning around. Wow. Now, I started with probiotics probably about two months ago. I was like, made a commitment, I'm going to be healthy. So this is the beginning of my journey. And for me, the probiotics were the easiest because they were so available. Mm -hmm. And if you can tell us why, like, what I found fascinating is how it's so necessary. And I didn't know this for years. You know, you would hear, oh, if you take antibiotics, eat some yogurt because it replenishes your bacteria. But I didn't realize there was so many different bacteria, good bacteria that you really needed in your system to stay healthy. So we can talk about our systems and our gut flora just for a minute to kind of establish why probiotics are so important. Well, antibiotics are, don't have any discernment on what they kill. Mm -hmm. So they not only kill the unfriendly bacteria, they kill the friendly ones. Mm -hmm. And when a system is deplete of microbes and it's acidic from being sick and there's no oxygen, mm -hmm. then what flourishes are the bad bacteria first. Mm -hmm. The same thing happens in soil. When the soil is compressed, all the Friendly microbes die off and the unfriendly ones get started and that's why earthworms are so important mm -hmm. in the soil to keep it aerated. Uh, and your gut is like a, a, a like the ground mm -hmm. that we can see how when it's compressed it gets all fungusy. Mm -hmm. And when the worms are aerating it's all healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, the only way to get our guts back 
when all those bad microbes come back first is to be eating friendly microbes every day. Mm -hmm. Now the unfriendly microbes, they're obvious, they're anaerobic because they don't require oxygen. They don't require oxygen. Now what do they do to your system that makes it not healthy? They create a acidic condition mm -hmm. in your system and they when they're more prolific than the friendly ones then the friendly ones can't survive enough to, to build up your immune system mm -hmm. so there's an acidic system which leads you more vulnerable to disease yes okay that's correct and then so the alkaline is where the aerobic would make it more alkaline to balance it out. That's right. Okay. Nice. And then to balance it out, like, is it foods alone or are there supplements or? There's many supplements that are probiotic that mm -hmm. people can take. And then, but I've found the best way. Mm -hmm is with foods. foods. And if I can get people eating the foods on a regular basis that have friendly microbes in them, mm -hmm. they do a lot better than they do taking a supplement. Right. Now, in your gut flora, isn't that where a lot of your immune system cells thrive? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And it's the friendly microbes in your guts that create the immune system mm -hmm. in your colon. Mm -hmm. And without the friendly microbes, you don't, your immune system goes down. That's why when we took the antibiotics, our immune systems went down mm -hmm. and we couldn't fight off anything because it's the friendly microbes making your body more alkaline and giving you all the nutrients that you need to have a strong immune system. Mm -hmm. And then what feeds the unfriendly army? Um, foods that are acidic, mm -hmm. especially sugars and wheat, refined, refined foods. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones, to, if, so if you're not feeling good, the acidic foods, the sugars and the wheats are kind of better to stay away from until you do build that balance back up in your system. That's right because it will just cause the unfriendly microbes to multiply and make you sicker mm. if you eat more and more sugar and or drink acidic things like sodas and coffee, mm. chocolate. It all makes you get more acidic Excellent. and creates an overgrowth of unfriendly microbes. Mm. And it's so funny that I was never really taught that, or at least I don't, it, it didn't stick for some reason. So, because I used to get sick a lot when I was younger, and then of course they put you on antibiotics, and then it was like this never ending cycle. Never ending cycle, that's mm -hmm. right. But then once I stopped taking the antibiotics and started being more proactive towards health, I felt great. And especially since I've started taking the probiotics the last couple months, I've had a lot more energy. That's right, because as you get more of the friendly microbes, which are called probiotics, mm -hmm. they build up your immune system. They are full of vitamin B, which gives you energy. Well, when we come back, Karen and I are going to show you many of the options available to you in probiotics. And welcome back to The Holistic Half. If you're just joining us, joining me in the studio is Karen Miller-Yost from the Cleansing Ministries Rejuvenation Spa. And our topic today is probiotics. And as we talked about earlier, probiotics are the good bacteria you need in your system to keep it balanced so you can stay healthy. And there's an array of probiotics in studio right now, live foods that we're going to go over and show you how easy it is to incorporate into your daily life. So Karen, 
Where do we start? Well, I'd start with Flora Synergy. Okay, so these are supplements that you can these just These are take. supplements, and Flora Synergy is a lactobacillus that is sporogenic, and it doesn't need to be refrigerated, and you can take it on your trips with you, especially when going to Mexico, so you don't get Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> and that's one of the things now, this is the good bacteria, and what we were talking about earlier is your supplements, especially this one, it waits, correct? It waits until it's in the gut to bloom. Okay. For this, That's when the spores mm -hmm. release. release and start growing. Excellent. So you can take supplements. You don't just have to get probiotics in your foods. That's correct. Okay, and then this was just another one, the primal defense. Yeah, primal defense are soil-based microorganisms. In the past, we got most of our um, soil-based microbes from the groceries we got at the store. Mm -hmm. But with all the fluoride and chlorine that is sprayed on everything all the time. The pesticides. And the pesticides, mm -hmm. the friendly bacteria that used to be on our foods are no longer on our foods. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason people have more gut problems because they're not getting those soil-based microorganisms. Yeah. And that's why there's more health issues in this country now because we kind of got away from eating the live foods and the microorganisms aren't as plentiful as they used to be. They are not. The soil. Excellent. And so that's why it's good that's to that. find a good soil-based microorganism supplement. All right. Now, the fun stuff. Where should we start? Um, yogurt. This was the first probiotics I was ever introduced to, and you have options now. So this is just a local one, Clover Organic Vanilla Bean. These are, should you take these daily? Can everybody take the yogurt? Is it Most a people, huge source of probiotic? Or? In the stores, the microbe level is not as great as if you made it yourself, mm -hmm. but it's still better than nothing. Mm -hmm. And one good thing about clover is they have four different strains. And the more different strains of friendly microbes, the more different strains of unfriendly microbes you can combat. Excellent. And then they also have, if somebody is allergic um, to okay. dairy, right. you can get coconut milk. Excellent. And this coconut milk has six different strains. So it's pretty good for you. Nice. Now, why is it necessary? So you wouldn't want to do just yogurt all the time and say, okay, I have my probiotics. Why is it necessary to kind of mix things up a little bit? Well, yogurt does not have any soil-based microorganisms. Mm -hmm. And they, this one, most yogurts in the store only have one strain of microbes in it. Luckily, these people are putting four and these people are putting right. six. But milk kefir usually has like 30 different strains of microbes. Oh, really? And so you get even more, you can fight even more strains of negative. Mm -hmm. And I had never heard of kefir before. What is kefir? Where does it come from? And I know you make it because I've had your delicious water kefir before. But you also make a goat milk kefir, correct? Correct. Um, kefir comes from the mother grains. Mm -hmm. These are some water kefir mother grains. Now, are they actual grains like from wheat or no, quinoa? Or? They're just called a grain because they are small mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. the, the kombucha mother, mother yeah. is bigger and shaped like a mushroom. So it's called a mushroom even though it's not a mushroom. They're just microbial masses mm -hmm. of friendly microbes. And kombucha and water kefir have about the same amount of strains mm -hmm. of friendly microbes. Right. Now, the kefir grains, how does that work? How does it create something you can drink that gives your body the microorganisms that it needs? Well, water kefir grains are really called sugar kefir grains mm -hmm. because what they feed on is sugar. 
-hmm. either the sugar in the coconut milk or mm -hmm. sugar in apple juice mm -hmm. or the sugar you add to water. And that's what feeds these microbes. So they're really called sugar kefir grains. Cool. That's fun. Now, and I'll get to the kombucha. Now, kombucha, like they say, it's from kombucha, mushroom. But it's really not a mushroom. It's so cool. That's just another probiotic mass. And then the difference, like you can make the kefir grains with water and milk. With kombucha, they use black or green tea. So if people don't want caffeine, you don't want the tea, water's a better alternative for you. But for flavor, this one, this was Vibrance. This one's made in the town I live in, in Healdsburg. And the gentleman that creates these used to be a winemaker. And then he created fruit juices, and then he decided to go healthy and really give us something yummy. So these come in all different flavors, so they're really easy to drink for me. I love kombucha. <laughs> I like the variety too. So I'll start with yogurt in the morning, have a kombucha during the day, and I notice my energy levels are picked up right away. And then every night before I go to bed, I do the kefir water. And in the mornings, I've been doing my green drinks, you know, the vegetable green powders that you use right. to get all your veggies. I'm not a big fan of them in water. To me, they're too sweet or they're too weird. That's right. So I've been mixing it with the milk kefir, and I love it. It balances it out really, really great, and then I get the best of both worlds all in one shot. That's right. You get your microbes with your greens. Mm -hmm. I love that. And also, I didn't know until recently that cottage cheese has microorganisms in it. That's well. right. That's amazing. I don't know if all brands of cottage cheese in the market do, but Horizon says that they have, it has active cultures in it of acidophilus and by, by fifidus. Mm, that's so. so cool. And then one of my other favorite products, probiotic hummus. Yes, before I found this brand with the probiotics in it, mm -hmm. uh, the hummus didn't digest when I ate it. Mm. And I was so glad one time I was in a store and they were giving out samples of that. And I took it, and my stomach just loved it. And mm. I've been hooked on it ever since. Yeah, this was what I had after I left you the other day. I found wonderful dehydrated vegetable chips. They were just dehydrated, dehydrated veggies, so they're really crispy. With this, I was like, in heaven. It was my new favorite snack. It makes my mouth water. Yummy. OK, and then this one saved my life a couple of years ago. I wasn't feeling good. I was all locked up. And my girlfriend's like, get raw sauerkraut. And I was like, what? She's like, raw sauerkraut has all your probiotics. And at the time, I was like, I didn't know what she was talking about. I, I know, because everybody I only it. knows about the canned sauerkraut that's on the shelf. All right. And there's no, if it's been cooked, there's, there's no, no probiotics. That's right. Because probiotics the mo are all live. So cultures. all raw sauerkraut you'll find in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And section. then this is Karen's sauerkraut that she made. And how did you, what did you make it with? So there's cabbage and mm. cauliflower and daikon and beets and ginger and Himalayan salt <laughs> and mm. some, some probiotic kefir grains. Now oh, you put kefir grains in it? Mm-hmm. Mmm, that's just so good. It's really tart, and what I love about it, and I've bought some sauerkrauts in the store that were probiotic, but none of them are as crunchy as yours. I love, love, love the crunch. And so if you've always hated sauerkraut, if you try raw sauerkraut, you might decide that you would really enjoy it. Yeah, it's not as um, like vinegary, per se, it's yeah. still got a little kick to it, but it's not that. It's not the same. the cheek kind of off taste. That's right. Mm, that's delicious. And what are some of the other benefits, like as far as how do you incorporate? Oh, wait, we didn't go over the Rejuvelac. I'm not familiar with this product. You can buy Rejuvelac in the store, and some of them are made with wheat, 
Mm -hmm. And some of them are made with wheat and rye. And the, they're fermented water and wheat, or water and rye. And it makes a probiotic mix. And mm -hmm. if you have the flu, mm -hmm. if you go and you get a bottle of this and you drink it, it helps make that flu go away. You can add it to children's fruit juice mm -hmm. when they have the flu. But a lot of people are allergic to wheat and rye, and so I started making it at my office with quinoa, right. which is more tolerated by more people. Mm -hmm. And it's really pretty easy to make because oh, nice. you just put some whatever grain you're going to ferment your water in, mm -hmm. in the water and stick it in the cupboard, and the next day it's rejuvelac. Right. Well, see, that's what's so cool about there being so many different varietals of probiotics. So if you have, you know, your gluten allergies, you know to stay away from this. If you can't have caffeine, you know to stay away from the teas. If you can't have the milk, then you know to stay away from the yogurts. And it, but there's so many different options that you can still really easily incorporate probiotics every day into your diet. That's right. And it's really nice because they're doing more probiotics, keepers, and yogurts with things like coconut milk mm -hmm. or almond milk. Mm -hmm. And so that's a nice way. And the humus is um, garbanzo beans with probiotics. And so you don't have to, you know, depending on what you're allergic to or sensitive to, you have different mediums in which to get them from right. so that you that's so awesome. can still and get them. The other thing I just learned was miso. Yes. Miso soup is probiotic for you as well. Miso is probiotic also. Mm -hmm. But if you put your miso in your water and you bring it to a boil, it kills all those microbes. Mm -hmm. And so it's best to put your water in your bowl mm -hmm. at 115 degrees mm -hmm. and then add your miso and then stir it in until it dissolves. Right. Then it still had, the probiotics are still They're alive. Still available. And then what about kimchi? Kimchi is just like the raw sauerkraut, mm -hmm. except it has lots of cayenne powder in it. Oh, so it has a little kick. It has a big kick. A big <laughs> kick. Very hot. Yeah. So I tell people if they want kimchi, they can just take the raw sauerkraut, if mm -hmm. they make it, and they can just add the cayenne and stir it in. Right. And they could make it have different levels of kick. Right. You know, if they don't want it quite as hot, they can add just a little. If they want it really hot, they can add they more. Can add more. So it, it's kind of fun because you can make these at home if you have the time and the patience. Or you can just go to your local store and just buy different things to incorporate them. Now, the last one I'm going to talk about was your probiotic cheesecake. <laughs> It's like one of my favorite desserts. <laughs> and I was floored to find out that it was so healthy for you. That's right. It's the only kind of cake I make for my children's birthdays anymore. Yeah. So. Are you going to tell us a little bit and about it? And it's all raw. You take raw almonds mm -hmm. and, and dates mm -hmm. and you blend them together in a food processor mm -hmm. and you put that in the bottom of a springform pan mm -hmm. and then you you take your milk kefir you hang it in a cheesecloth mm -hmm. and the whey comes out and you just have the curds and that's like cream cheese oh, yeah. and then you dissolve a little a gelatin with a little organic sugar and water mm -hmm. and then you mix that into your cream cheese that's full of all the 30 different microbes that Keeper mm -hmm. has. And then you put it into your springform pan and you refrigerate it overnight. And then the next day when you go to serve it, you whip up some raw whipped cream and you put that on top and then you cover it with fresh berries. And it's yummy and, and really good for you. That's what's so exciting is the more that I venture into this journey, I call it a journey, to getting healthy, the more I learn that it doesn't have to not taste good to be healthy. That's Especially right. Especially like with the kombuchas and the cheesecake, it's like, oh, thank you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because there's so many options out there for you. And I've noticed for myself personally, 
have been a lot healthier the last few months, had tons more energy. And I'm so grateful for you because you've totally helped me along the way to teach me how to do all these wonderful, wonderful lifestyle changes that are so easy now. I really appreciate that. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us today. I think this was really informative. I know for me, I'd never, especially the flora synergy, next time I go to Italy or Mexico, I'm taking this on the plane. <laughs> That's, that's fabulous. It's a lifesaver when you're traveling. I bet. I because bet. you're not going to take this or that uh, while well, you you're traveling. you can't anymore. Yeah. And then, you know, everywhere there's so many different bacteria that your system isn't used to. So it takes you, you know, days to get used to, to get it. used to it. So this will just help out instantly. That's right. Excellent. You um, can be the only one with energy and not <laughs> sick in your hotel room with Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. And thank you for joining us. If you want to learn more about probiotics, you can go to our website at www.holistichalf.com. And we'll have a link to Karen's website, which is thecleansingministries.com, correct? Correct. And we can teach you all different ways to boost your immune system by incorporating probiotics into your diet. To learn more about Karen and probiotics, go to www.cleansingministries.com. And thank you for taking a look at the holistic half. We'll see you next time.